Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with GTA Online. If you enjoy this video, please rate small businesses on TripAdvisor, giving them 5 stars but also aggressively promoting my videos in your review, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Meet Thick Man, a retired assassin who is on a mission to become the most powerful crime lord in Los Santos, whilst also ensuring he stays sufficiently hydrated at all times. These are the boys, 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 and together they form a feared gang known as the Sons of Virgins. These are their stories. Bruh. So I log in and ask myself the number one question science can't answer. Why don't all GTA servers follow a communist ideology? Is it because communism always fails due to systemic corruption and the lack of capitalist incentives lead to total economic collapse? On the other hand, this hat sure does look fresh, and as long as you're the corrupt leader with the power, it should be a pretty sweet gig. So I gather myself an army of Soviet legends with the objective of taking over Los Santos. Meet the sons of Mother Russia. I customize my Granger so that it fits our theme better. Please note the red star rims. As we are about to leave, a player called Sweaty Jean rocks up and quite frankly I'm furious that he's not in uniform. He flees and honestly he's about 5 seconds away from tasting several of my socialist bullets. He leads me straight to his car and all is instantly redeemed. I like how he's using cardboard for a body kit. It's more creative than the time my mate told a girl he liked that he got his big biceps from lifting children out of poverty. So we roll out, ready to spread our wholesome philosophies with the rest of the world. And by that I mean we'll probably just kill people who don't instantly conform. So yeah, we're basically just pre-1991 Russia. Actually no, we're just present day Russia. All of a sudden, Sweaty Jean is back and he's still not wearing any commie drip, which makes this situation incredibly hostile for him. It's his lucky day though, because this delivery driver was distracted on his phone, watching the only kind of raunchy adult videos that are allowed in this city now. Share My Wife Uncut Volumes 1 through 16. Anyway, one of the boys ends Jean's life, so yeah, get pranked, big girl. We load into some military choppers so we can hunt players down more effectively, and I mean, look. As bulletproof as our political ideologies may be, our helicopter pilots leave a lot to be desired. We notice that there's someone spending thousands of dollars modifying their vehicle. How dare they stimulate the economy, this man must die now. I'm actually impressed with how intimidating this looks. Imagine rolling out excited to test drive your enhanced vehicle, but instead being greeted by Mother Russia's thick schlong. On another note, Sweaty Jean is back and he's now realized it's better to be one of us than a traitor to the cause. Welcome, comrade. All of a sudden, this player's finished modifying his car and the lads are under strict instruction to hold fire until we as a collective make the decision. But it looks like Cosmic 800 didn't get the memo. Before we can react, he does the right thing and takes his own life, which is more of a Japanese samurai thing than a Soviet Union tradition, but still, great energy. Suddenly, the police are here, which is our kryptonite, as though we may have the gulag. They're happy to expend as many police officers as it takes, which I mean I respect, but can't compete with. As we flee in our chrome commie chopper, which flex shines on the capitalist haters, our comrades in the far more modest black chopper don't make it out alive. There'll be no body collection for the families in this war though, as I order our pilot to carpet bomb the Los Santos Customs car park. All I know is that I want to buy myself a chopper like this so I can carpet bomb anyone who doesn't agree with me. Wait, that's more of a George Bush thing. Was Bush a commie? It all makes so much sense. I then notice a player is in their nightclub, so I head on over but am denied entry as they want me to pay $100 for the admission fee. I hope this is some kind of sick joke and the player wisely leaves the server before I can liberate him. You see, the problem is players are noticing 8 Alpha Vladmirs coming towards them on the map, and they just leave because who wants to deal with that, right? So we come up with a strategic plan. The communist para unit who attack from the skies before anyone can realize what's happening. Now this is an extremely historically accurate representation of when the Russian monarchy was overthrown in 1917. It actually went down exactly like this. And colorful parachutes and everything, it was quite a spectacle. It turns out to be that guy from Los Santos Customs again, but we decide to let him go because he's fighting the police, which aligns with our revolution. Plus I feel bad for destroying his Jeep. 
Sorry, our Jeep. I remember I was on a date with this girl back in college and she kept saying things that were kind of socialist but I didn't think anything of it because she was hella thick. I was thinking wow if I play my cards right I could probably entice her into a little bit of premarital eye contact. So I got up to pay but she stood up faster, puffed out her chest and screamed, United forever in friendship and labour, our mighty republics will ever endure. And I interrupted like yo hold up. Was that the Soviet national anthem? She was like, yeah, and I just said it was the hottest thing I'd ever witnessed. We proceeded to make sweet love in the middle of the restaurant while all the other people chanted aggressively in Russian. It was actually a really sensual experience. Anyway, I killed this fool because he shot my brothers and all they did was salute him. You can't kill us all, mate. We decide because not many people are speaking on their mics, the best way to test their loyalty to Mother Russia is to salute them and see if they salute back. This long jacket cuck proceeds to do that rude Italian gesture to us and so I do the only logical thing there is to do in a situation like this. I pull out a hammer and beat him. Unfortunately he's quite a quick lad but I've got friends everywhere who ran him with their cars. Perhaps a little too enthusiastically because they also run me over but hey. The important thing is the scum who disrespected our beliefs was also flattened. Meanwhile Zach Bylik, a name that screams capitalist pig, has become the VIP and must be assassinated. Sounds like a job for Thick Man and his crew. The target is bunkered down in the Playboy Mansion which would normally be in a thousand IQ play but if there's one thing I know it's thick booties. How will we get in though? Oh wait it's GTA Online. Envy's car can literally just jump over the hedge. It's called realism look it up. Before I hunt I decide to introduce myself to the lovely ladies of this classy establishment. They run in fear which proves they sure are good at assessing a dangerous situation. But they're also good at hurting my feelings. Just because I'm somewhat of a violent dictator doesn't mean I don't feel emotional pain. The elusive target isn't showing on the map but I know he must be close by so I check out this cave. Funnily enough, this is an accurate representation of when SEAL Team 6 executed Operation Neptune Spear taking down Osama. But this is at a stripper's mansion so it's a sexy assassination which is far more sophisticated. I'm proud of the boys 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 so I head over to the casino so they can enjoy some gambling. At this point our political principles are heavily blurred but who doesn't love having a flutter at the cast? We all salute our fellow comrades while they take turns spinning the lucky wheel. To no one's shock the grand prize podium car is quickly won. Mother Russia takes but she also gives. Mother Russia is a curvy woman with a heart of gold. Satisfied with today's efforts we make our way over to the carnival. Are you even officially a Soviet Union if you don't ride the roller coaster together? I think not. But put your hands in the air if you love Jesus. Wait no, put your hands in the air if you just don't care. Okay I think we're done here. It's time to undo literally everything we just fought so hard for and spend our $700,000 on a new business. The boys are enjoying some time in the hot tub as I pull the pin on a fragmentation grenade. The only thing that can defeat communism is a high explosive anti-personal device mass suicide. New year new me and this year I'm going to drink smoothies each morning. I actually am in real life drinking smoothies now every day it's pretty inspiring stuff. I put in one banana, a scoop of powdered oats, the tears of the people I store in my basement and fresh organic strawberries. I meet up with my boy Stealtho Carbo who's driving around in an old style car for some reason. This may look like two macho males engaging in a romantic country drive but as we are now all about big business we are actually heading to my coke lab before I invest in my new business venture. As we arrive this guy is guarding it for some reason but he has an $1000 bounty on his head so thanks for the cash big sauce. Welcome to the real world. God I love visiting here. I don't often open up about what turns me on but watching underpaid immigrants being forced against their will to sift through some of the most stepped on rack this side of Colombia really gets me going. You can either buy the supplies for the lab or get them yourselves and we opt to do it ourselves because that's the American dream. Upon delivering some supplies a green alien runs me over which is rude as I used to fight for them. Also who drives around in a minivan? That must be the dumbest play I've ever seen in my life. 
Anyway, we recruited these random legends who wanted to join us for a while, so that's good news. I hope they enjoy getting paid in appreciation and exposure though, because they aren't seeing even one dollar of the profits. As we are fleeing with the supplies, a futuristic tank decides it's going to destroy us. The one con of a tank is generally at slow speed, but this war machine seems to be turbocharged and easily catches up. God only knows why we couldn't get away. I guess this comes in at number two for top 10 questions science can't answer. On another note, this has to be the most peaceful server I have ever personally experienced. All these other players are just vibing and not killing us. Very wholesome stuff. I head over to my clubhouse, which I honestly forgot I owned. It's pretty run down, but you can tell we are macho men who never get beaned, as we have posters of lewd girls on our walls. There's an extremely alpha ambience in here. I proceed to buy myself a weed farm for $715,000. A solid purchase, and I bet you these go on sale next week. I love Rockstar, but I swear one of their employees watches my videos and then whatever I buy, they put on sale right after to beam me. Probably not, that seems pretty narcissistic to think the world revolves around me like that, but hey, I'm a YouTuber. That's my social responsibility. So yeah, this is the weed farm. I'll have to set it all up before I can get busy growing the devil's lettuce. We've also got a bunch of coke being made. So next episode, we're getting right back into the business side of the series and becoming full-time entrepreneurs by dealing drugs, which will subsequently ruin people's lives and destroy families. Anyway, thanks for the support on the channel, you absolute legends. It's been insane lately. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Thanks for watching and thanks to those who support the channel on Patreon. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.